Hello there, I'm Ty and Riffany. And I'm Maris Carcano. Wait, those aren't our names. You're Chris Marcano and I'm Ryan Tiffany. Anyways, STN, there's been a lot of confusion in the world of sports lately. Especially when it comes to the world of esports and people's opinions on whether it belongs in the very competitive world of sports. We do not believe that esports is a sport. The Oxford Dictionary defines a sport as an activity that involves physical exertion and skill in which an individual or a team competes against one another for entertainment. A sport like baseball checks all these boxes. In the power four sports that include hockey, football, basketball, and baseball, you need to be able to run many miles, lift hundreds of pounds, and learn the game you play. However, some people may argue that esports is just as, if not more, entertaining than regular sports. I can agree that video games can be entertaining, but it just doesn't net the same viewership that regular sports generates. Where 1.5 billion people watched the 2022 World Cup Final, and the most popular esports game, League of Legends, only averages a viewership of 5.1 million viewers. Not to mention, the difference in revenue between your average esports gamer and your average pro athlete in America is astonishing. In 2023, the average NBA, MLB, and NFL players comfortably got paid over seven figures a year. On the other hand, your average gamer doesn't even make as much as your average American. This goes to show that the real athletes get the big bucks, and until esports can catch up, it really isn't a debate. I'm Ryan Tiffany. And I'm Chris Marcano, reporting for STN.